Hey guys, my name is Nick and I am excited because it's Friday, almost weekend, and this weekend is Guardians Rising pre-release and you can bet I'm going to be there, or at least some of those events. Like I have two planned this weekend and two more in the weekend after that. So you can already predict what Mondo's video is going to be about. Anyway, today I'm opening up this Mega Camera Up EX Premium Collection. I can barely get into frame. Also the camera is telling me that there's a little face right here. Not not camera up's face, there's just below that. That is a little face right there at the tip of my finger. Sure camera, whatever you want. Yes, today Mega Camera Up the EX. I also got the Sharpedo EX one, but I had to go with this one because that camera up looked like it is in trouble. So we're going in to save him today and hopefully the card isn't damaged. Besides the promo cards, there's also six booster packs in this box, so that means I'll be giving away six codes with this video. As for the codes from last video, I got a lot of replies, which I was not expecting that. Which, uh, in a way, was great that the video got a lot of traffic and a lot of new people found the channel, which to which, of course, welcome. But yeah, it also made it very difficult to pick the winners for last video. So I ask you guys, if you were to become a Pokémon, which Pokémon would you like to be? And we got a lot of really good answers, but I could only pick three. So the first winner was Bone Joris. I, I hope I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> we wanted to be a Steelix, because it's large, heavy and brutal. Which I can kind of dig, just be a Pokemon that just doesn't give a shit. The second winner was Quayle Marshall. Again, pronunciation, I hope I did that right. Who chose Hoopa, because Hoopa can go anywhere. Which I agree would be a very useful ability to have. And the last winner was Jessica J, who chose to become Mimikyu, which considering last video was all about Mimikyu, I thought was fun as an answer. And she picked that because it was a mixture of cute and dark, and apparently because it can help Team Rocket, which I assume is a reference to the, the anime, which I don't really watch anymore. I, I, I actually watched the first two episodes of the, the Sun and Moon season, but I just... I don't like how the series never goes anywhere. Every season ends and then Ash starts all over again. So there's no progression. But that's my personal taste. But I assume that is what she meant. Shit, I'm rambling and Mega Camera Up is falling over in boredom. Knocking over the background as he does. But yeah, you guys win one of the codes. Uh, all new names. So to be clear, you should have received a message from me by the time this video goes live. And I'm using YouTube's message system, which is kind of obscure. So the easiest way to find it is to just go to youtube.com slash messages. And for everyone who didn't win, do try again. Because uh, today, well, we have six codes. So that is double the chances compared to last video. And also next week, we'll have the pre-release stuff, which also means uh, quite a few codes to give away. So there will be some good chances to win codes. And so for the codes from this video, I want to ask you guys, what is your favorite fire type Pokemon? I know that's not the most interesting question to ask, but it's all I could think of right now. So let me know what your favorite fire type Pokemon is in the comments below for a chance to win one of the goats. And as always, I'll pick my favorites and announce them in the next video. Now let me fix up my background and then open this thing. So we're starting off with a Mega Camera pin. And I noticed Mega Camera Up has a little M on his forehead. So he's actually Majin Camera Up. And also... A coin with a mega camera up. Do you think it's the exact same picture as they use on the, the promo? Then we have regular camera up the EX, which fortunately was not damaged uh, while rolling around in the package. But yeah, just like the Sharpedo one, which we'll see soon, is uh, this is not a promo. This is actually from, uh, which one is this? Primal Clash? I'm not sure now. Uh, I'm not that good with set symbols. I think it's Primal Clash, I'm not sure. But if we then move on to the Mega Camera Up, that is a promo. Because we have no Mega Camera Up in any of the sets. Now I've heard some theories as to why they're releasing this now. Some people say they're trying to uh, expand on the expanded format. I think the reason is much simpler. It's that we have GX cards now, which do not really give the option for Mega Evolutions. And so the Pokemon Company figured you know what, we have some mega Pokemon we haven't made cards of yet. Let's quickly make those and sell them before all the X cards move out of rotation. That's my theory at least. But like I mentioned, the, the face on the coin is the exact same one as they use on the card. <laughs> Which I thought was kind of funny. But yeah, camera up and mega camera up, some good attacks on these cards. 
And we also get a spirit link to use them in play. And lastly, we have the mega camera up. Let me hold up the little one for comparison. And then we have the booster packs, a Fates Collide, Evolutions, two Steam Siege packs and Sun and Moon. I decided to open that in, in that order because Fates Collide is not that interesting anymore now that I opened the booster box. And Sun and Moon has been surprisingly uh, nice to me lately. So I wonder if that trend continues. Here's Fates Collide. I'm not gonna repeat again which cards I still need from it. I feel like I've said that too many times already. But yeah, we're only looking for some stuff rare and up. The rest is all duplicates. So the first pack, starting with a DC, double colorless energy. Cincino, Devolution Spray. Celosis, always a Celosis, or well, always a Shelter or a Diglett, but Celosis also very common in Face Collide. Vullaby, Coughing, Mincino, and there's the Diglett, of course, always a Diglett. Reverse Hollow, Alakazam, Spirit Link, and the last card, a Snorlax. And then we have the Evolutions pack, always love me some Evolutions. These cards still make me feel very nostalgic every time I watch or every time I look at them. So here we have Brock's Crit, Slowbro Spirit Link, Magmar, Vulpix, Fire Energy, Voltorb, Charmander, Diglett. Reverse Hollow Metapod and an Electrode. Then we have a Steam Siege. Steam Siege also a bit of a mixed bag. Sometimes I'm very lucky with it, other times I don't get anything. We have Clang, Special Charge, Monferno. Mareep, Drifloon, Apom, Larvesta, Dino, Reverse Hollow Dewat, and the last card, an Armaldo. Nothing too major yet, and we're already at the second half now. We have Ambipom, Flaffy, Fletchinder, Rufflet, Larvesta, Joltik, Tangela, Ponyard, Reverse Hollow Merrill, and a Bastiodon. So then we get to Sun and Moon, and so far this box has been a bit disappointing. No real major pulls yet. So now I'm really curious to see if Sun and Moon continues its weird or well its unusual lucky streak if I can get the cards out at least ah there we go so we actually do four I actually remember it this time we have a fairy energy Toracat Crushing Hammer Poliwhirl Alolan Diglett, of course another Diglett, Marini, for Brawler, Eevee with the Energy Evolution, which I've seen so many of by now because everyone is using Espeon and Umbreon GX. I'm so sick of those two cards really. We have Sandy Guest, Reverse Hollow Jupiter, and a Stoutland. So the last Sun and Moon pack and it all comes down to this. Oh, if we don't get anything from this, this will be a very disappointing box. Oh, don't tell me that we got nothing from this. Oh, that will make me kind of sad. Sun and Moon was on such a good streak, and now it seems to be falling apart. One last chance. So we have Team Skull Grunt, Pinsir, Ultra Ball, well that's nice at least, Chinchou, 
Cutifly, Dratini, Spiro, Psyduck. Hey, that's the common I still needed. Well, we got something at least. So now I have all the commons from the Sun and Moon set. Reverse Hollow Togedimaru. And I forgot the energy again, didn't I? Yeah, there it is. A fairy energy. And the last card. Another Stoutland. Kind of an unlucky box, really. Well, at least I got some nice EX cards out of this. But yeah, that was a bit disappointing. Although, considering what I got last video, I can't complain about my luck just yet. So that was the Mega Camera Up the Xbox. Again, if you want to win one of the codes, let me know what your favorite fire Pokemon is in the comments below. And I'll announce the winners in the next video. And I will see you guys again on Monday with the new Guardians Rising. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can click up here to watch another one. And if you just want to watch me play some video games, you can click down here to go to my gaming channel. Whatever you decide to do, thank you very much for watching and have a very nice day.